So we're into peak risk period for grass technique or hypermagnesium. Um, I had a case this week myself of a call to a cow who was off her milk in the morning time, uh, signs of meningitis. When we got out there, she was much worse, much staggery, almost dangerous, hyper excitable, and she was in the very early stages of grass technique. Now that's not always the case. They're often down or they're often found in, you know, we often find animals dead with this disease. So, so it's really important. It is one of the veterinary emergencies. Get on the phone to your vet, get them out there as soon as you can to examine these grass technique cows and make intervention. So why is grass technique a problem? So low magnesium, magnesium is like an electrical conductor, it controls muscle function almost. And when it's low or absent, you get uncontrolled muscle tremors. And that's where we get the shaking and the collapse with, with, with cows. But the reason it's so dangerous so quickly, the most important muscle in the body is the cardiac muscle. And that's what will often happen. That's what will kill the cows of grass technique is the cardiac muscle give up. And you'll often, even though it's a dangerous thing to do because they are trembling so much, if you put your hand on a cow down with grass technique, you'll almost feel that heart pumping out of the chest. Um, and you'll often, uh, it, 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 it's, it's not in the, a full indication, but it can just give you, you'll sometimes almost hear the heart pounding. So, the clinical signs, we all know them at this stage, cows are often down, we don't have much time, they're trimmering, their heads are going back and they're trashing around with their legs. So this is why your vet is needed, because most of these cows need some form of sedation before we ever administer magnesium. Certainly, you know, before you call, if you are a suspect, get that bottle of magnesium sulfate under the skin as quick as possible, have it warmed up because that helps get um, as much absorption as possible. So why is magnesium a problem? Cows need daily intakes of magnesium. There's very poor stores of it in the body. So they need that regular intakes uh, every, every day. The risks at this time of year is anything that affects daily intake. So dry matter intake during, at this time, such as bad weather, any kind of form of stress. That's the time we'll see in the autumn time when we're weaning cows, when they're not eating and they're stressed because of that weaning process. So anytime you put it, obviously cows, especially milking cows because there is a lot of magnesium in milk uh, onto poorer covers and they're just not getting daily intakes full stop but uh, less low magnesium. A big thing we see at this time of year is the rumen is where the magnesium, the engine is where the magnesium is absorbed into the cow's bloodstream and fresh lush grass is it's full of linoleic acid it can often decrease the pH of the rumen, it can, it can increase transit times, and you'll often see it at a risk. You'll have a lovely uh, field of fresh lush grass, but there is a risk because even lush grass is quite low in magnesium, increased gut transit times and poor absorption. So it is a risk period, and this is why we see it. Um, also, any, any soils or grasses, high potassium, uh, with a lot of application of slurry. Nitrogen, a lot of nitrogen, will create an ammonia breakdown product in the, in the rumen, which affects magnesium absorption. The other thing is low sodium. Low sodium plays a role in magnesium absorption. Sometimes when I see it, I, I recommend just ordinary cheap salt blocks out in the field. But again, um, we'll talk about that in prevention. So treatment, your vet needs to get out there as quick as possible. We often sedate them. We give calcium into the vein, give magnesium under the skin. But you know, it really is a veterinary emergency. Prevention, there's, there's lots of options. Again, you need to talk to your veterinary nutritionist about having a plan around this. Magnesium oxide, or as we know, is uh, CalMag. Um, the difficulty with it is getting intakes to cows out in pasture. Um, sweet CalMag, if you can feed it, it can help. But again, you have to work out the daily requirements, the intakes that are required by your cows, and feed appropriately. Mag chloride flakes, they can be added to the water, a cheap option. Uh, magnesium in the water is also another option. Now the problem with this, and I have seen this in two farms, is when you put magnesium into the water, it makes the water quite unpalatable. So yes, it'll, it'll, it'll have an effect, but just want to be careful that the cows are actually drinking the water. Um, particularly if you're getting a problem, what will often happen is they won't drink as much water, it'll decrease rumen function, so it can cause problems. So this needs to be managed and the, the rates need to be done, and there's lots of companies who will do this magnesium in the water and do a good job, it just needs to be managed correctly. Um, pasture dusting with calcinide mag magnesium, uh, it's an option, again it's very labour labor intensive. Buffering with silage works well for me, particularly here with this whole thing with lush grass and this uh, negative energy drop we get and this, we, we, it's been kind of described as SARA. It becomes a real issue for me because it affects negative energy, affects a whole range of things and maybe I'll cover it again sometime but um, 
definitely buffering with silage if you can in the morning coming out of milking or having that beta silage for sucklers outside. Magnesium bolus, probably a last resort but do work well. Uh, slow release over time, certainly if you're at risk and you have had problems you're in, you're out, you're at high risk, then magnesium bolus is something to consider and talk to your vet about. Long term though with magnesium, it really is, we have to focus on soil health and soil pH. It makes a huge difference. So knowing what's in the soil, and often we think, we, we assume think, but actually testing it and getting people who are experts in this field to, to look at these things and analyze them, um, and whether it's lime or whatever we need to apply, ma managing soil pH can be huge. Look, this is a general overview. The main thing at this time of year is to be watchful for magnesium. Take action uh, as soon, any symptoms or anything. And if you certainly, if you, like we'll often see, we'll find cows dead. Some of the signs can be where their, their feet have been trashing. Um, we can take uh, a sample from the eye, check the magnesium levels. If you had a diagnosis, you've really, really got to focus in on all these things and, and put a plan in place. Uh, so that's a horrible uh, tour of grass technique. The main thing is we're coming into risk period. Be vigilant.